Can we have all the Bilibili? Sir Bombs, yung mahiwag ng bowl. Everyone. What is your name again? I'm Donna Lilunilan from Bay Bay City. Uh, from Bay Bay City. Your question is number two. How do you plan to address the issue of bullying and promote culture of protect and exclusivity to the community? Again, how do you plan to address the issue of bullying and promote the, a culture of respect to inclusivity in the community? Thank you and good evening ladies and gentlemen. Empower by standards to create and take responsibility for creating a safe and welcoming, welcoming environment. And that would be all, thank you. Okay, thank you so much, number one. Okay, proceed. Oi, parang nagbalik lang kayo. Question number one. As a citizen, how does property affect our life and how important is education when crisis of property is at stake again as a citizen how does property affects our lives and how important is education when crisis and property is at a stake thank you poverty can have negative significant impact on individuals families and community including poor health outcome lower education attainment, reduce economic opportunity, and increasing social exclusion. For me, education is the key to opportunity, and it is a ticket out of poverty. Thank you. Thank you so much, number two. BDB, number two. Now, let's proceed. Number two. Okay, if I get some <laughs> Question number 15. What measure would you implement to promote gender equality and empower women in our community? Again, what measure would you implement to promote gender equality and empower women in our community? Thank you. I stand in women empowerment because I believe that every woman should have the choices and equal opportunities in life. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that we should live in a world where every girl can maximize her potential and a brighter future full of enormous opportunity. Every girl should be granted the respect, the respect and the dignity they deserve because her gender does not limit her capabilities. That would be all. Thank you. Number four. Are you feel nervous in the number of uh, Kind of. Yes, I know, but it's not easy to face uh, for like a bunch of crowd. I know you can do it. Your question is number 14. How can you contribute to environment sustainability and address issue like ways of management in a population in our country? Again, how you can contribute to environmental sustainability and address issues like waste management and pollution in our community. Thank you for the question. Of course, as a model, as a student, and as a citizen, and of course, as a collective assistant of the environment, in, uh, I can contribute in sustaining environment by raising awareness 
uh, promoting uh, recycling and waste reduction, sharing self, uh, sharing eco-friendly alternatives, and provide. Uh, I can provide resources for pollution prevention and of course collaborate with local organization because I believe that in addressing uh, these things, uh, it requires a collective action. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, let's give the microphone for the last contender for tonight, the B number of the Number 10. Okay, your question. Is pageantry a form of women exploitation? Again, is pageantry a form of women exploitation? I believe pageantry is not and will never be a form of women's exploitation. As for me, pageantry is a form of women's empowerment. As a pageant enthusiast, pageantry gives us the opportunity to showcase our God-given talent, beauty, and wit. It enables us to promote our advocacies and have a voice in society. More importantly, pageantry gives us the power to be visible. Thank you.